The other name that you get uh, linked up with a lot, and it's especially been happening more because he's been in the news, is Colin Kaepernick. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that something you're going to be addressing on the on the podcast? Is there a story to address there? <laughs> um, I'll take my time with that. Yeah, that's somebody that I extremely I respect extremely. You actually have uh, a... care for extremely. Uh, I think it's an incredible person. The the braveness that he's showing now, I admire, and I mm-hmm. feel like I maybe had something to do with it, making him feel bold enough to be the kind of person he's become lately. How and, did you do that? Uh, we had a great friendship, great connection, and uh, we talked a lot. I'll say that. Oh, yeah. Okay. I have I a know. lot of friends. No one ever inspired me to not stand during the National Anthem. <laughs> I'm working on it. Well. <laughs> I've had a few that would inspire hey. me to kneal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what she's talking about. <laughs> oh, <I see. laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I do get linked to him a lot because um, during the Tiger situation, someone saw some kind of social media. By, by the way, can I, print. I should point out something that you were like, you were like, okay, I had this plan with Tyga, and it right, was and I just if we ever fumbled. got if we ever got exposed, we would just tell everybody that we were really good friends. Oh shit! And then I was like, hey, what about Colin Kaepernick? And you're like, like well, friends. I'll say we're just really good friends. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well, that kind of well, okay. explains that you one away. You take it how you want it, I guess. Right, right. I'm probably turning red now, aren't I? No. It's okay. okay. You look very comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you look very confident in your assertion. <laughs> but you do, you think you inspired him to, uh, to well, be he, bold? Well, he inspired me. I think it, even during the situation that I was going through, mm-hmm. um, this was a person who made sure to keep in contact with me and made sure to kind of uh, just make me feel... Like I could stand up to anything, and uh, I think it was a, a probably an, an important moment for him as well to see how the world was reacting to me and how people were kind of just really trashing me, and how I was still trying my best to stand as tall and represent and protect people. Um, I was at a really extremely low point. Ex- I was frightened. Is that because it was after the Tiger stuff? It was I was, all I was happening? frightened during the Tiger. I mean, yeah. I was I was so afraid of what was happening. I didn't know what was going on. Like I said, when you're dealing with crisis management people contacting you and attorneys and PR people and all the all the media, like every show out there, I'm on TMZ. I'm on Wendy Williams. I see all this stuff happening, and I'm just like, what in the world is going on? Anybody that I've ever met, even from kindergarten, was trying to contact me. It was just not a fun time for me, and I I almost gave up. Did the lawyer threaten you? Uh, they couldn't really threaten me. Well, they threatened Lainey. They threatened her that if in the beginning they threatened her if she released any statements on my behalf to protect my brand and my name that they were going to sue her. For millions of dollars for basically shut the fuck up and once they said that to her and I saw those emails I was like okay you fucked with the wrong one now I'm gonna do a press conference because you don't threaten my people you don't threaten my friends you don't do stuff like that um, and then they, they started to understand that <clears throat> I wasn't gonna be pushed around and then they came the let's let's try to buy her silence which he should have known that that wouldn't have worked me. he's known me for years he knows bullying does not do anything but piss me off he knows that I didn't need the money you know, like, what was I going to, I didn't, you're already labeling me an extortionist, okay? You're letting it out there in, in the public eye that I am having a hold of this sex tape and I'm trying to extort someone that I care about. So you're already letting that be flown around in the media and spin so that I'm the villain, or the, yeah, the villain. Mm-hmm. And then privately, you're trying to, please, I'll do anything, you know, just help us out, just follow whatever we want you to do. And I'm like, why would I do that after you're out there publicly tainting my name? And that's what he wants you to do. It's like, just agree with us tainting your name. Yes, so that way I'll look wanted. good. I was being you're extorted. Like, right, right. Essentially. So that's when <clears throat> Colin helps you out so much. Um, he he just gave me confidence that I didn't have during that time. Like, he was still a friend and wasn't afraid to still contact me and wasn't afraid to check on me and wasn't afraid to give me uh, some inspiration and wisdom and, and just telling me that he was proud of me and how I was handling it and that I wasn't that girl out there outing someone. Did you want, did you find that certain people contacted you because they just wanted to make sure that the... That their secret was safe? Did, did you get certain people? I don't, I don't, I, know who I don't think they would feel like their secret would have been safe at that time when people were saying that I was doing all these horrible things. I don't think anybody would have felt safe at yeah, that but time. Did anybody like from your past call you and be like, you're not no, uh, gonna... No, because uh, everybody that knows me knows that I'm not capable of doing things like that. You're not going to do something. It's just like not that. who I am. Yeah. I've been in the industry for 12 years. He's, these, are, that's no, these are not the only high-profile people that have been in my life. Do you ever... Trust me. 